Hey everyone, this is Darren Marlia, VP of Products at Semperis. And today I'm gonna to show the DSP intelligence capabilities with our directory services protector platform. You know, Active Directory security has never been more visible today with attacks like SolarWinds, NotPetya, the list is long of attackers getting into Active Directory environments and moving laterally and gaining privileged access. DSP intelligence provides the ability to continuously monitor the security of your Active Directory. And I'm gonna show you how that capability can help you stay abreast of what's happening within Active Directory from a security perspective. I'll primarily focus on DSP intelligence. If I go to the security dashboard, I get to the overview page. You now see essentially the same kind of scoring that we do in Purple Knight, where you have an overview of the total score, the number of indicators that have passed, the number of indicators that have been found positive, and any ones that didn't run. Account security, AD delegation, Kerberos security, AD infrastructure security, and group policy security are the five categories we have currently within the indicators. And this tells you the breakdown of how many were run, run versus how many there are within each category. And the little red number that you see here is the number of positive indications that have been found. This table here shows you essentially the most recent indicator runs. And in fact, you can search or sort by this particular column, first found or last evaluated, and you can show the very most recent ones. The first found column tells you when it first fired positive, and the last evaluated tells you when it last evaluated or last ran. We also include the MITRE ATT&CK framework, TTPs that are associated with these indicators. So these are listed here. You can click on any of these and go into the main indicators detail tab. But let's go ahead and just do that explicitly. If I go here to indicators, it's gonna go ahead and bring up the full list of indicators as they're running. And you can see here that they're organized by category. Any of these columns are sortable. I can filter based on any of the columns. So whether if I wanna see only enabled or only disabled severity, if I wanna see only criticals, for example, if I do that, it will show me only the indicators that have a severity of critical regardless of whether they've passed or failed or been found and add new filters. So you could, a customer, for example, can filter based on MITRE ATT&CK TTPs. So let's say MITRE reconnaissance. I wanna see all of the TTPs associated with reconnaissance. You can also search on keywords. So if I search on Kerberos, it will filter the list to show me only Kerberos, you know, the keyword Kerberos. So any, any indicators either on the category or on the name. So lots of flexibility in terms of being able to display indicators compared to earlier versions. If you go into a positive indicator, you see a little bit of more detail around this. So you see the description of the indicator, what it's looking for, the likelihood of exposure. So as you can see, this gives some detail around the score, the weighting, the schedule for this indicator, and then if I click on run history, it will show me the last, oh, I don't know, maybe 10 or 20 indicator runs and the results that were returned for each run. Now these results are a sample set. It's not the full data. If I click on expand here, I'll see up to 10 records for this indicator. So if there were more records, then it wouldn't show them all here what you can do if you need to get all of the records is go in under the actual indicator itself and say create report and then that report will get generated into a separate file and i can go to that file and open it up and see all of the results for that particular indicator now if i go back to the indicators page just want to show a couple more things so if i go in I can see remediation text. This, this will tell the user what they should do about this indicator. In some cases, it's maybe a link to an article. In some cases, it's just a you know, bit of text to say, and this is what you need to do. If you want to not run an indicator, you can disable that indicator. So you can click here to disable an individual indicator. If you wanna run multiple indicators on demand, meaning you want to run them immediately, 
you can select the indicators that you want to run and then just say run now. This will go out and trigger a new run of each of these indicators. And that essentially means that um, they run not on the every hour schedule, but they run immediately. So you'll get results from those indicators right away. The notifications pane is used to show any notification rules that are marked as security related. So if a notification rule that's security related, like a change to domain admins member attribute, that might be a security related notification rule. If that is, if that fires positive, then the details of that event will show up here. Now, one other thing I wanna mention is that when we have indicators firing every hour or so, we actually record each of the runs of indicators into the event log in a new custom event. So that this gives us the ability to have uh, customers pick those up using, let's say Splunk or some other third-party uh, log collection tool and do with what they want. So this log is under applications and services. And if I go in under Semperis DSP security, you'll notice all of these events are in here and security indicator execution start found info around it execution completed each of the indicators will fire these events the indicator found event means that this indicator found positive that's uh, event id 9212 and you can see all of the details of it you won't see the actual records that were found but you'll see the number of records that were found so all of this is available within the event log as these things are running. Well, thanks for watching this walkthrough of DSP Intelligence. If keeping up with the latest attack paths and the latest methods for compromising Active Directory are important to you, then DSP Intelligence can provide a solid foundation for giving you much needed visibility into your Active Directory security posture.